Leaked Hillary Clinton emails revealed NATO killed Gaddafi to stop the formation of a United States of Africa. The then U.S. State Secretary Hillary Clinton burst into laughter and commented upon learning of Gaddafi's assassination and death. We came, we saw, he died. The truth was this wasn't just about the assassination of Muammar Gaddafi but no. Doubt Libya's invasion was an organized crime to loot Libya's 143 tons of gold and silver. This was about slowing Libya's economic development and make it weak in order to forever be dependent on the West for survival. Of the 3,000 emails released from Hillary Clinton's private email server in late December 2015, about a third were from her close confidant Sidney Blumenthal. One of these emails, dated April 2, 2011, read in part, Gaddafi's government holds 143 tons of gold, and a similar amount in silver this gold was accumulated prior to the current rebellion, and was intended to be used to establish a pan-African currency based on the Libyan golden dinar. This plan was designed to provide the Francophone African countries with an alternative to the French franc, CFA. In a source comment, the original declassified email added, according to knowledgeable individuals, this quantity of gold and silver is valued at more than $7 billion. French intelligence officers discovered this plan shortly after the current rebellion began, and this was one of the factors that influenced President Nicolas Sarkozy's decision to commit France to the attack on Libya. According to these individuals Sarkozy's plans are driven by the following issues, a desire to gain a greater share of Libya oil production. Increase French influence in North Africa. Improve his internal political situation in France. Provide the French military with an opportunity to reassert its position in the world. Address the concern of his advisors over Gaddafi's long-term plans to supplant France. As the dominant power in Francophone Africa. To their imperialist policies, Gaddafi told a university gathering of his supporters in Surti, without specifying who might. Put Obama under pressure. Obama is a flicker of hope in the middle of the imperialist darkness, the Libyan leader said. Adding, there is a fear that they would liquidate him as they liquidated Kennedy, Martin Luther King and Abraham Lincoln. Gaddafi, who is the African Union chairman in 2009 offered to work with Obama to sustain security, stability and prosperity. In Africa and elsewhere. Gaddafi praised Obama for breaking with what he said was the previous American foreign policy that dictated to the rest of the world what to do to serve U.S. interests. Subscribe to Sparta King Sparta. Thanks for watching.